Can you unbreathe, Hello, I'm Rich Baritone. Tyree Sneed has, in the past, challenged me to debate him numerous times. He, of course, didn't mean it at all, as narcissists cannot tolerate having their worldview challenged in any way. In addition to that, I'm blocked on StreamYard and every YouTube channel Tyree Sneed has because Tyree Sneed is a coward who cannot defend any of his opinions or beliefs in an open forum with myself or anyone else. He would be destroyed, so he hides. Not anymore. Since he hasn't the nerve to face me and is obviously scared of me, it's time to create a debate. So now, here is the long-awaited debate between Tyree Sneed and myself. I simply recorded one of his recent rants and picked out his dumbest statements to respond to. This was some hard editing as everything he says, thinks, or does is dumb. This is going to be easy. Here we go. Tyree Sneed, your opening statement, please. See, they believe that if you repeat a lie long enough, that it becomes the truth. Not at all. The truth is the only thing that remains stagnant and can't be twisted. You yourself believe that if you repeat a lie long enough, it becomes the truth. It is the ruling principle of your life. You produce hours and hours of content repeating lies. Lies about yourself, lies about other people, all lies. Your nose should be as long as Tommy Lee's dick. And I might add, of all of the words to describe the truth, stagnant would not be one that I would choose. This is what happens when stupid people try to sound smart. That's why you are shit out of luck, because you're believing in a philosophy that has no conclusion and doesn't exist. You're always talking about coherence, Tyree. You always say that any opinion that doesn't align with yours makes no coherent sense, right, Tyree? Well, what you just said makes no coherent sense at all. Let's review, shall we? You said, and I quote, that's why you're always shit out of luck because you're believing in a philosophy that has no conclusion and doesn't exist. Really? What does that even mean? I don't know what it means and you don't either. That statement is a crouton short of qualifying as word salad. Like I said, we know the rules for 2022. We know what we're doing, and it's a lot different than what they expected. It's a lot different than what you've seen before. What we are going to see will be exactly what we have seen for the past six months and counting, Tyree. You will brag about having two or more minimum wage jobs, and you'll dare haters to find where you work at, which of course they invariably do. Then, the haters inform your employer of your YouTube content, which gets you fired. When that doesn't happen, you get yourself fired for being an asshole. That won't change. Something else that won't change is your subpar lifestyle. You will continue to bounce between Mr. Nelson's basement and the Motel 6. You know, the one out by Lambeau Field? You will continue to find restaurant work as it guarantees you one meal a day. You will continue to walk everywhere because you don't even have bus fare. You're a missed check away from being under the overpass and you just don't get it. Another thing that won't change is your toxic relationship with Jenny, which has become a predictable bore for your viewers. Jenny breaks up with you on Monday or Tuesday. You spend the week wishing cancer on Jenny, comparing her vagina to snakeskin, threatening to kill her, claiming that you are going back to Texas or to Michigan to live with Christina, none of which you will actually do. Then you get paid on Friday, 
Jenny says she's sorry, and suddenly you forget about all of the vile, disgusting things you claimed to think of her all week long. And here you come running like a horny dog to top off a bitch in heat, which in this case you are literally doing. Without the heat part, of course. You know, partial hysterectomies being what they are and whatnot. The whole thing is sick beyond description. Your turn. So, it's really exciting for me. It's exciting for Jennifer and I, for our future, for everything we have, for the love that we have. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. You and Jenny have no love, no future, and no joint possessions. She won't even let you come over to her apartment. They want to tell me I can't hold a job, but they're actively trying to get me fired from all these jobs. It's all your fault. The whole, the whole job paradigm stops now. Jobs paradigm? You don't know what the word paradigm means, do you? Because you'll never find out where I work out ever again, that I can assure you. Oh, man. Why do you keep doing this? If Shamrock doesn't find your job first, Jenny will dox where you work at when you break up. Which, as usual, should be any minute now. Why are you so focused on irrelevant details when I have another opportunity that's paying me 15 bucks an hour? Two things here. Your entire life is an irrelevant detail and you can get $15 an hour now for mopping floors at McDonald's. $15 an hour doesn't mean anything anymore. See, this is the thing I don't get. You don't get anything. That's what makes you, you. God damn it. But you're not understanding how deep I am. We heard from a guy you were in jail with that you took it all, so we have a pretty good idea how deep you are. Anyone will hire me in a heartbeat. And then they see your YouTube channel and out the door you go! So, you're acting like one one thing was a big deal that doesn't even exist and is irrelevant to me. If by one thing you mean haters getting your job, it's multiple things, not just one. It happened, therefore it existed. Furthermore, it is obvious to everyone that losing jobs is irrelevant to you because you keep doing it with or without help. You'll give me more time to do what I need to do and handle my business, which isn't a bad thing. You have had your entire adult life to do what you need to do and handle your business, and you have yet to do it. So how much more time do you need? Your life is shot in the ass, and it's time you saw that. Just with where the stock's at now, if that stock blows up more, it's gonna make boo boo bucks. 3,100 shares of stock that cost you less than $2 a piece. All that means to anybody other than you is that you have wasted about, oh, $3,600, $3,700 that you could have used for food and lodging. Nothing will ever come of this because nothing ever comes to anything when it comes to you. So it's looking for a very prosperous 2022 any way you figure. No sir, I don't see it. So, like I said, I'm doing my victory dance, my victory lap right now. They cannot fuck with me, they can't touch me. In a world where losing is winning, there can be only one. You know, I think that we just have trouble communicating sometimes and it's something we need to work on. Yeah, the whole cancerous snakeskin thing might be a bit much, huh? But I just want you to know I love you and I truly do consider myself lucky to be with you and I'm grateful every day and I've always felt that way. You are a cuck that is easily controlled by pussy. And I always will. Be a cuck that is easily controlled by pussy. Thank you for sticking with me too and, and for loving me. It means everything to me. Any man worth being called a man would have been long gone. She's fucking with you. All she's ever done is fuck with you. All she's ever done with any man she's ever been in a relationship is fuck with them. She's worse than you are. God damn, are you really that fucking desperate? No, let me answer that. Yes, you are. 2022, no more arguments or fighting. 
so we just talked to each other calm and worked things out. You weren't capable of it and neither is she. You just live in delusion 24-7, don't you? Don't you? These people, they can't accept the fact that the mansion that I own and that I paid cash for... You mean the two-bedroom house that's owned by your mother? That mansion? That two-bedroom mansion? That's been just... Oh, God. There's no public record of where that money came from for that purchase acquisition, is there? No, there isn't, because it never fucking happened. Yes, I protect my assets. I'm willing to put assets in other people's names. And I also purchase homes for my family. There is no rebuttal to that statement beyond saying you're a goddamn liar. People in my own family who hate and want to try to put me in an aura that I'm not. You're right, Tyree. Your family shouldn't put you in an aura that you're not. Whatever the fuck you meant by that. What they should be doing and can do since your family is nothing but well-connected lawyers, they should be trying to put you in the state hospital. It's the least they could do for society. Like, I'm the most gangster thing walking the planet. You're softer than a freshly opened can of Play-Doh. See, see what I'm saying? If I understood anything you said, I'd have myself committed. That's facts, baby. And the matter is knowing yourself and knowing who you are is something I know very well. So you know you're a giant asshole. That's a start anyway. I'm a vampire. I'm a hybrid. You're a vampire. You're a hybrid. I just... I... I just don't even know what the fuck to say anymore. There's no way I can be human. There's no way I can withstand all this. You know? No, I don't know. All I know is I'm running out of patience with your ass. Just like with all these corporations. See, they want to project onto me what they know I pointed out that's true about them in the world, that none of these people own anything. Of course they own things, Tyree. It's not their fault that your entire net worth fits into two backpacks. So how dare you hate on me when the military is a Freemasonic organization where they're housed, they don't own their homes. Paranoid schizophrenia in a sentence, ladies and gentlemen. They're mad at the fact that I keep making money comfortably without having to sweat. Okay, let me make sure I got this straight. The United States military and Freemasons are upset because you're making money. Got it. This isn't the do everything against Ty and what he wants and asks and desires life. That's not what life is. It's illegal to do that. Excuse me, would you repeat that please? This isn't the do everything against Ty and what he wants and asks and desires life. That's not what life is. It's illegal to do that. I'm just about out of patience with you. Baby, can I ask you, have you ever given these people any pictures of you at all? In any way, shape, or form? Or nudes or anything like that? I hope not, but I mean, if you have, you have. I don't understand what would be the purpose of that, but... Oh yes, the people that you call haters are in fact in possession of Jenny nude pics. Little TNA, little split beaver, little bit of everything from what I'm told I have never looked at them but from what I have heard about these pictures all I can really say is I hope Jenny's infection is better. See, all they're trying to do is project their emotions they feel based off my success back onto me so that I can feel the misery and pain they feel the hurt they feel that they're unaccomplished that they haven't bought and sold 50 acre properties that they haven't bought and sold mineral rights and oil that they haven't washed dishes in restaurants since they were 16 that they're not about to take oil and turn it into their own business and make more profit than the past all over again the only thing you know about oil is the vaseline you use to turn tricks and i sold it at the perfect time and made more profit than i ever would have waiting on checks no matter how high it goes a lot quicker so am I dumb or am I smart? I'm smart. You got trolled into selling your mineral rights. Therefore, you're a moron. Would you like to say something else stupid before I get rid of your ass? Oh, cool. I was just asking you, have you ever sent pictures to these people like nudes or anything? I just wanted to ask if you have, you have. I was just saying I wouldn't see a purpose in it. Have I ever sent nude photos to anybody? 
Oh, God, no. Jenny, though, yep, she has, just like I said earlier. And know this for a fact. There are certain people in this community that can tell you the exact shade of brown of Jenny's asshole. True fact. But I just wanted to know. It's been described as light brown. That's all the time I have for this idiot. I am Rich Baritone, and this has been a simulated debate with Tyree Sneed, right here on... Tyree Sneed Radio.